hello everyone in this tutorial I will talk about what is the intrinsic value what is the extrinsic value or the time value of of an option what is in the money and what is out of the money option okay so here I have is a screenshot from CBOE.com Chicago Board of Option Exchange and I have taken the example of JP Morgan and Chase which is currently trading as $41.19 and I just wanted to bring your attention to these these headings over here bid and ask so bid is suppose you go into the market and you want to you want to buy this option say $33 call option this is the price that you would be paying to buy this option and this would be the price that you you would get if you want to sell it in the market and this is and the difference between this is called the bid ask spread and this is what the market makers make when they when they trade these options but for the purpose of this tutorial I would just like you to concentrate on this column the last trade and we'll get all our concepts from here so let me explain to you there is something called as there is an option price option price is also called as the premium this has two parts first part is intrinsic value and the second part is extrinsic value this extrinsic value is also called as the time value intrinsic value what is the intrinsic value I will discuss on this today but in in raw terms it is it is what the true value of the asset is of the asset and and the time value is you know value due to time and this is uh, this is the kind of a premium that market decides market participants pay over the true value of the asset because of the protective nature protective characteristics that options offer um, over an outright long or a sh short position let me go to this example and see if it's more clear I'll draw a line over here $41 this is what the current stock price of JP Morgan is I will take this example of a $37 call option now as if I am a buyer of the call option what what I have I have a right to buy it at $37 I have a right to buy this at $37 and if I exercise my call I can buy it at $37 the current market price is $41 and I can just immediately go and sell this and make a profit of $4 so this is this is what the intrinsic value is Intrin intrinsic value of this option is this is the true value of this option four dollars but if I look at the price of this option this is selling this is being traded at four dollars and thirty six cents so the market participants are paying thirty six cents thirty six cents over the price over the intrinsic value or the true value of the asset and and this thirty six cents is called the time value they have now this is why are they paying over over the true value as I said this because of the protective characteristics of the option they have got more time so they can wait uh, wait for for the stock price to go in their anticipated direction so because of this anticipation because of the protective nature they are willing to pay an amount over the true value and this is known as the time value premium if I look if I take another example of a put uh, of a call I have a, a I am a buyer of a $39 call which means that I have the right to buy it at 
if I and the current market price is $41 if I sell it immediately I can sell it at $41 so, so the true value is $2 but this this option is currently being traded as $2.72 so the market participants are paying 72 cents more than the intrinsic value and this 72 cents is the time value this is the time value of this option again in an example of a put if I take this example of a $43 put as a buyer of a put option I have a right to sell so I can I can sell it at $43 it is currently being traded as at $41 I can make a profit I can I can buy this from market at 41 and I can sell it to the seller of this option at at $43 and I can make $2 but if I look at it so I would think that this would be the price at which this option should trade but this option is actually trading at $2.33 so the market participants are paying 33 cents premium for this option and this is the time value of this option and they're, they're paying this premium because they think that it is worth more than two dollars this is this is the time value of the premium uh, this is the yeah time value of this option and if I go down here now this is this is as I said this is the market price at which it is currently trading at and any option any option which has a positive intrinsic value is said to be in the money in the case of calls if I draw a line over here these are the calls so any option which has a positive intrinsic value is said to be in the money so if I go by this this region has all positive intrinsic value and this is these are in the money these are in the money these are in the money so notice any strike price which for the, in the case of calls any strike price which is lower than the current stock price is said to be in the money and they have and they have positive intrinsic value and same is the case here these also have positive intrinsic value and these in the case of in the case of calls any strike price which is which is greater than the current stock price these are out of the money and in the case of puts any strike price which is lesser which is smaller than the current stock price is out of the money and an option whose exercise price is the same as the current stock price this is called at the money so again I would just give another example over here so I had just I had just explained suppose I, I give I take another example suppose the current stock price was $36 if the current stock price was $36 if this was the current stock price in the case of calls this any any strike price which is lower than the current stock price will have positive intrinsic value 
and would be in the money anything any strike price which is greater than the current stock price will be out of the money and reverse is the case in the case of puts any strike price which is lesser which is smaller than the current stock price this is out of the money and this is in the money in the case of puts any strike price greater than the current stock price and if the current stock price was thirty six dollars the strike the thirty six dollar strike price would be at the money and if this if this thing shifts over here if the current stock price is let's see if it changes color I have not been able to do it successfully I have no idea by but again suppose if the current stock price was $34 anything above it would be in the money in the money over here anything below it would be out of the money out of the money the stock price was 34 this would be at the money so in this tutorial we talked about what is an intrinsic value of the option what is an extrinsic or the time value of the option what what is in the money and out of the money what does these terms mean so we'll see you in the i'll see you in the next tutorial thank you